Hey, what's up everyone? Sonny Boynity here. We're going back to another video. Today I'm back again, continuing my Let's Play series on... Yeah, Mario Kart 7. So, today what's going to be happening is that I'm going to be playing through... I have no clue, actually. I actually forgot. Um, and who's that? Okay, well, we got Shy Guy, so... Actually, why not? Yeah, let's just play as him. And I got a new glider, which kind of sucks, because the gliders don't really do much in this game. I really need new cards, because I have these dookie, doo-doo butter, horrible cards right here that don't do anything. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and actually... Uh, let's do the tiny wheels and you know let's just use the new glider why not and um yeah so I genuinely forgot <laughs> uh, what I played last time oh, I played the shell cup last time so today we're gonna be playing the uh, flower cup so that should be fun Sorry for that little edit there, but here we are with uh, Woohoo Island from Wii Sports, which is kind of cool. I don't know why they put this in the game, and I don't know why they never brought it back, but this is a really cool uh, track. There are actually two Woohoo Island tracks in this game, which is weird, but um, yeah, it's a good um, it's a good track, it's a good course, and it's pretty interesting. I really wish that they'd bring it back, because like, come on. You had all that DLC, and instead of putting this, you put Mario Kart Tour levels. Like, no one wants that. And I'm actually doing kind of bad right here, because I have not played this game in a few weeks. Because even though I'm pretty sure I let the, I put the second part of this up like a few days ago, maybe. But that was pre-recorded for quite a while. Oh God, oh, I cannot talk. That video was pre-recorded for quite a while. Um, so you know. It has been a minute since I've played this, and I'm kind of just trying to get back into it. But there we go. There's a little shortcut right here for all of those who are not OGs. Not Mario Kart 7 OGs that know all the shortcuts. Um, there's also another one right here that's actually really... Well... Okay, well, I can't even get it anyway. And I lost my shell, and I got hit again. Okay. And I got hit with... A wow! Okay. That's cool. You do you. Um, but yeah, as always, I'm gonna be trying to get first place here. I'm not gonna settle for second place. I mean, I might. I might just end the video if I get second place. But I'm gonna go back and replay it because I'm trying to get every cart and every character. Because there's, well, I mean, it's not a lot, but there's definitely some things to get. I'll say that much. This game definitely has some collectibles, which is, um, it's cool. It gives you a lot of reason to play the game. Because, like, I feel like other Mario Kart games before this, I just played, like, once and never again. Like, I played Mario Kart Wii. I mean, like, there's not much to do. There's not much replayability in games like that. Mario Kart DS had missions and online, which, that, oh my god, dude. Nothing will ever be... OG Mario Kart DS Online, but, um, so let me, let me know if you guys want to see me play that game in the comments, because I might do that, actually. However, that game is actually kind of bad. <laughs> I, I liked it a lot as a kid, but after replaying it, it is kind of bad. Like, you, you literally have to snake to even get a drift to work. It's so annoying. Or, I mean, you don't have to snake to get a drift to work, but you have to snake to get a mini turbo from a drift, which is, like, why, why do they do that? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, this game overall is, like, I don't know, Mario Kart 7, a lot of people don't like this one. Uh, I think more people are starting to like it now, mainly just because, you know, the kids that grew up playing this are getting older, and now, um, I'm one of those kids, by the way, so now we are able to, you know, go online and talk about how much we love this game. But, um, you know, when it came out, it wasn't too well received. It was kind of just like, the most generic Mario Kart you could have ever made, which, you know, it is. I'm not gonna defend it and say that it's like not generic and it's like super, you know, interesting and all that. But for what it was, it's like I don't know. To me, Mario Kart 7 is like framework for what Mario Kart should be. This is kind of just like a beta test to what Mario Kart games should be from then on. Like this introduced cards. This introduced, I mean, not cards. This introduced customizable cards. This introduced like all the new items you can add to your cards. This introduced um, gliders, which is cool. Uh, I mean, those are still on Mario Kart 8. What did Mario Kart 8 even introduce? Like, what? I guess... Oh, yeah, they did the, um... 
like the hover things, like where your wheels turn into hoverboards. It's kind of that's a weird, lame gimmick. It doesn't it, like it, they never needed to do that. Please don't fall. Okay. Oh my god! <gasps> I did it. Okay. I actually thought that I was not gonna make that. Wow. I don't know why I tried to break right there. But um, yeah, I think the Mario Kart 8 is just kind of like. It's just like what Mario Kart, it's just like a finished version of Mario Kart 7, like it's it's the fully realized version of this game, because they're pretty, almost like exactly the same, honestly. Which I mean, well I guess DS and V weren't the same either, but I don't know. Yeah. This is just, it's a, it's a good game, I like this one. Um, it's, it's fine, I guess, I don't know. It's bland, but it's good. It's it's just like I don't know how to explain it. Like a lot of people really don't like the bland era of Nintendo from like back in the early 2010s when everything Nintendo was putting out was like really like just commercial friendly and stuff. My get Huh? Hello? Okay. Who just passed me by the way? I'm catching up to you. Is that Luigi? Oh, I forgot to even play as him. That's Yoshi. That's not even Luigi. But um Get out of here. I guess not. You better not beat me. Okay. Good. But, um, yeah, a lot of people just really dislike the bland era of Nintendo, but, you know, I grew up, that's, that's the era that I grew up with the most. I mean, you know, I grew up with the late 2000s era, too, like, with, you know, like, the Wii and stuff, but, like, you know, just the, the early 2010s, I think, was really good for Nintendo, because, like, I mean, they were doing better than most. <laughs> what else was going on back then? It gave me, like, really not much. Like, um, what, the 8th gen was bad. I'm, I'm gonna admit, I still play 8th gen consoles. Like, I'm not ever switching to 9th gen, probably. I don't think I'll ever buy a PS5, honestly. Unless I can find it for really cheap. But, um, yeah, and also only if it's the disc version. I'm not paying for no digital console. What? But yeah, I ain't, I ain't paying for no digital console. I don't know. That's stupid. Um, and speaking of digital, um, y'all know me. I'm a Sonic fan. I love Sonic to death. But um, if you guys have you know been in the Sonic community recently, you probably know about Sonic X Shadow Generations, which is or Sonic Cross Shadow Generations, I should say. I'm pretty sure it's called Sonic Cross, not Sonic X. But um, but that game. Uh, recently has been in some controversy because apparently it's not getting a physical release on PS4, but it's getting a physical release on literally every single thing else besides that, besides PS4. It's coming out on Xbox One as a physical disc, it's coming out on Switch as a cartridge, and it's coming out on PS5 as a disc. No PS4 ports! I mean, it's gonna have a PS... You can buy it digitally on PS4, but you can't get a disc, which if, you, if you're normal, you probably don't care. This probably means literally nothing to you. But to me, who is a collector, I really like having physical games, especially because that's kind of the only way you can even own games nowadays. But, um, but yeah, um, so actually last night I did find out that there, uh, there is a physical PS4 version, and it is coming out. However, it is for Japan only, which I wish I knew why they were doing that, but uh, yeah, they're, they're making a Japan only physical release. For Sonic, um, for Sonic Cross Shadow Generations. Are you kidding me? Is this the second or the third lap? I really can't. Okay, thank God. I thought it was the third for a second, but it's not. But yeah, I really, um, I don't know. So I was looking on Play Asia, the website where you can buy like Asian stuff and get it imported. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What was that? Oh my god. But yeah, I was looking on that website, right? Because I I was kind of curious. I was doing some digging about the PS4 physical copy because I was like, there's no way. Why would they not make a PS4 physical disc? That makes no sense. Literally no one has a PS5, by the way. PS4 is still doing great. That's like, literally most game sales are on PS4 exclusively right now. So, yeah, reasons as to why they are not releasing it in the US, I don't know. Hopefully they will make it in the U.S. and they're just gonna like reveal it later. 
or something, because, I don't know, that's kind of dumb to not do a physical copy on PS4, but yeah, who knows. Um, anyway, I did pre-order the game, actually, I already pre-ordered it on Xbox, so, and hopefully, I get, hopefully, by the time it comes out, I'll get a capture card, because, like, I don't know. But yeah, as soon as that game comes out, day one, I'm gonna be playing it, alright? So, hopefully there will be a video on my channel about it when I get a capture card. I really need to get a capture card. I keep putting it off. I keep buying other stuff. I don't know why. I could have spent I could have spent that $60 on a capture card, but now I pre-ordered a Sonic game. But, I mean, I want that adventure skate. I really want that adventure skate. I don't know what I can say to that. But, um, yeah. Alright, here we are. This is actually the final race, which I was not paying attention. I didn't know it was the final race. But, um, yeah, that's actually a really cool level. This is, uh... I don't know, actually. <laughs> I forgot the name. But this is a really cool track. Um, it's one of the most, like, visually nice-looking ones on 3DS. It's like, look at this. Oh, God, it's lighting. Look at that! Look at that big open area. That's so cool. And this is a good area to go glide around and stuff, which... Yeah. That's cool. Gliding is kind of... Hmm. Gliding is alright. I don't have any problems with it. I do like it. But it's definitely uh, not the most interesting thing they could have done with this game. They could have, like, done literally anything else besides gliding, and I would have been fine with it. But, you know, I guess it is kind of cool. Okay. There's a blue shell coming right behind me. And it hit both of them, so I'm in first place now, let's go. Second lap, alright. And actually, I do like this combo that I have right now, because Shy Guy is pretty fast. Because the other two races, or the other two videos, I was actually kind of struggling a bit to, like, you know, get ahead of everyone. Because, I don't know, I was playing as Toad and I was playing as Mario. But I also was not using the best kart combos, so I was using pretty bad ones for no reason. Just because I want to try to play as different carts for once, but no, you had to play the game so much to unlock any carts. But whatever. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. They could have done more with this. I'm not saying that they should have done more, honestly. I like the game how it is. I think it's good. But, um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. It's fine. But yeah, back to what I was saying earlier about, like, the bland generation of Nintendo. I did like it a lot. You know, I think it is just nostalgia as well, but, like, still. Those games were good back then. Like, we had a lot of good games. 3D Land is great. I just finished playing that on my channel, if you haven't uh, checked that out yet. Which, go watch those videos, please. I finished the whole series. It's nine parts long, but still. Um, oh, please don't blow up beside me. But, um, yeah, I mean, that was just a good generation. Like, we had 3D Land, 3D World is great. We had, uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Classic game. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Please, let me get ahead of him. Pretty, pretty please. You're joking! Oh my god. No! <sighs> okay, I thought I was going to Okay, god, wow, that was a horrible ending, but okay. Yeah, whatever. I don't even care anymore. But yeah, I mean, we had a lot of good games back then. We had Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. We had the original Donkey Kong Country Returns, which is great. We had... Like, well, there's a lot of good games, I guess. I don't know. There's Yoshi's New Island, which I forgot about. Um, I just... I actually, I, last night, I kind of, like, binge-watched the entire Kabanamani 456 Yoshi's New Island Let's Play, because... I don't know why. It kind of popped up in my feed, and I literally completely forgot that game ever came out. But I watched this whole series on it, so... Granted, it's not a very long series. He only played like four parts of it, but still. And there we go. I did finish in first. I think I'm going to get two stars here. Yeah. So I don't know what I unlock for that. Probably nothing, because when you get three stars, you get more stuff. Um, I got a new character. And nothing else, of course. Because why would I get a new cart uh, customization option? That's too cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's about it for this video. Um, be sure to check out my channel if you haven't already. I post videos. I've been trying to post daily for a while now. It's, I've been doing it for like two weeks maybe, so that's good. But um, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.